I found the best method to get all of your shooting badges in one day. In this video, I'm going to be breaking down my exact shooting badge method as well as individual breakdowns for some of the hardest shooting badges to get. So if you've been struggling to max out your shooting badges, don't worry. In today's video, I got you covered. Just make sure to drop a like if you find this video helpful and hit that sub button so that way you don't miss a thing. Let's get into it. All right, so the first thing you guys are going to want to do is go to your map and you guys are going to want to go to Sunset Park. This is the first street ball court you'll have access to and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to head up to this court menu and you are going to want to go up against disco put yourself in the second slot like you see me do here that way you're matched up against a 74 overall all right so the first shooting badge we're going to be breaking down how to get is limitless range now this badge is probably the most difficult shooting badge to get but I'm going to make it very easy for you guys in this video. The first thing you're going to want to do if you do not have your limitless range on at least gold is you're going to want to take a few normal shots. It could be a, a, just a normal three pointer, a mid range, whatever. And you guys are going to want to get your takeover. So once you get your takeover, of course, you're going to want to pop your takeover and you're going to want to put it on your sharp shooter take, which is square on PlayStation 5 or X if you're on Xbox. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to spot up behind this hash line. You have to to shoot behind this hash line or it does not count as a limitless range shot this is why a lot of people are struggling to get this badge because you have to be at least behind that hash line or it will not count and you'll see up here in the top right limitless range fired off so you can see that what i'll do is i'll either take a shot from behind the hash line off the dribble or i'll spot up there and the easiest way to knock down these shots from behind that hash line consistently is in this street ball mode combined with when you have takeover because this mode is basically on rookie however you get a ton of badge progress in this mode way more than if you were to play rookie on my career and you have a 74 overall matched up with you plus the fact that you have takeover so when you combine those three things you'll be able to get limitless range extremely fast using this method as you can see i already got it maxed out on this build at gold and once the game ends you're going to spawn right in front of the court board again and you can just keep playing disco over and over again so that's why i highly recommend you guys do because it's the easiest way to grind your badges just do exactly what i showed you before put yourself in that second slot and just keep playing them over and over again all right so now i'm going to be breaking down how to get agent three blinders dead eye and green machine all at the same time let's get into it the first thing you guys are going to want to do of course go to the sunset park go up against disco put yourself in the second slot and then do exactly what you see me do here all you need to do is literally just dribble up the court or spot up and then you just want to pull up right in his face as long as you release it good as you can see here you get all of these badges at the same time now green machine did not activate there because in order for green machine to activate you need to hit two greens in a row so as you can see this time when we pull up we pull up right in his face and you can see right here that we are going to get agent three we're going to get dead eye and then we're going to get green machine so blinders did not pop up there but most of the time it will you just want to keep doing this exact method you see me do here and you will get all of these badges at the same time and you can see in this clip right here we shoot a limitless shot on a spot up we knock it down and we are going to get progress towards those badges as well we're also going to get a little bit of claymore progress but you can see we get dead eye green machine and limitless so you can even throw limitless into the mix once you get it high enough using the method from before you can see once again here same thing we knock down a limitless shot and we get progress towards dead eye green machine and limitless and the reason why agent three didn't show up on that last one is because it wasn't off of some type of drill move it was just off of a walk back now sometimes it will pop up off of a normal walk back but if you want it to pop up consistently it needs to be after some type of dribble move such as like a crossover a behind the back a snatch back just any simple dribble move you can see right here agent three is gonna pop up and then we're also going to get progress towards open looks which we already have on gold and we're gonna have on hall of fame soon so you guys can see how easy it is to stack all of these shooting badges at once and get them upgraded fast now I'm also stacking all of these shooting badges with a playmaking badges method. Now if you guys want to see me drop that playmaking badges method, drop a like and leave a comment down below letting me know and I'll make sure to get it out ASAP. But anyways, that's why you see me doing so many dribble moves. But in this mode, if you're just going for your shooting badges, trust me, you don't need to put in all that work to get open. You can literally just come down the court and shoot it with them right in your grill. 
And once again, like I said, you don't even need to be greening your shots in here. A lot of whites will go in. However, I do recommend trying to green as many shots as possible because that's how you're gonna get your progress towards green machine. You can see right there, again, Dead Eye Blinders Agent 3 all at the same time. And when it comes to the other badges, such as like MIDI Magician, Open Looks, Catch and Shoot, Corner Specialist, anything like that, any of those other badges, those are most likely going to be C tier, B tier, or A tier badges for you guys. So it's literally just the same method. You just want to grind them in here. You can see I get a ton of progress towards MIDI Magician in that specific game but it's really just the same concept. You're just gonna grind them in this mode, doing the exact same methods that I've shown you for these past few badges. If you want catch and shoot, for example, take catch and shoot shots. If you want corner specialists, take corner shots. And if you wanna grind both of those at the same time, take corner shots off the catch and shoot. And then obviously if someone's in your face, you're gonna get progress towards green machine, blinders, dead eye, all at the same time. So you guys can stack all these badges together and it's extremely easy. That's why I highly recommend you guys hop in this mode. I don't know if they're gonna tone this down. It's not like it's a glitch or anything like that, but they might tone down exactly how much badge progression you get in here because I don't think you're supposed to be getting this much badge progress on rookie difficulty. Now, if for whatever reason they do tone this down, don't worry, I have a future proof method for you guys that will always be good throughout the entire year, regardless of any patches that 2K puts out. So for this method, you're gonna wanna go on all star difficulty and you are going to want to go on either five or 12 minute quarters. I recommend five minute quarters personally, but if you want to go for the longer games, go for 12 minutes. But I personally think you get more progress at a higher efficiency at five minute quarters. So you're going to want to do that. And then you're just simply going to want to play your next opponent that is not very strong. You know, you want to go up against a matchup where it's a weaker defender. And then you're simply just going to want to apply everything that I've just shown you before in the street ball mode to this my career game and i'm going to show you guys in the clips exactly how i do that however it is going to be a little bit different now as you guys can see in all-star difficulty it's a lot harder to just pull up when they're in your face and get consistent greens however it's easy enough to where when they can test you will still be able to knock down consistent shots and you'll be able to make whites in here so i think it's like the perfect blend where it's not too hard like hall of fame to where you have to be super locked in and play perfect but it's also not like rookie where you're gonna get like no progress so that's why if you can't do that street ball mode if for whatever reason they tone down the badge progress you want to do this all-star difficulty and you want to play in this my career game just like you see me doing here you want to be calling for screens you want to be running around the pick and roll and then you want to just be taking whatever the defense gives you if they give you the three take the three if they don't give you the three just simply go inside the mid-range area and pull up for a midi now if you're an off ball guy and you don't have any ball control you don't have any playmaking what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to call for off ball screens calling for off ball screens and then just simply doing an r2 speed boost around the screen is going to help you create a lot of looks however i do highly recommend even if you only have like a 70 ball handle you're definitely going to be more than good enough to do the method that you see me doing here with the pick and roll when using the pick and roll like this to your advantage and then just taking either the three or the mid range, depending on what they give you, you are going to be able to get all your badges extremely fast. And I actually found that this mode is really good for badges like open looks because you're gonna be getting open a lot more off the screen. And then of course, if you want badges like mini magician, post fade phenom, you're gonna be able to get those in here just like you would in the street ball mode because you see here i'm actually having to take a lot more mid-range shots because of the fact that you can't just pull up anything with them in your grill you have to actually take somewhat good shots your shot selection has to be decent so that's why you actually see me taking a lot of mid-ranges here and that's why whenever i take a mid-range i'm making sure it's a dribble pull up that way it counts towards mini magician now when i go for mini magician you see it also counts towards blinders dead eye all those other badges so that's what makes this so effective and if for whatever reason maybe the street ball mode is just not your thing or they tone down the progress in there you can apply those methods to what you see me doing right here in this micro game so i hope that these methods helped you guys out and you guys should now be able to get all of your shooting badges easily in just one day of grinding so if it did help 
please be sure to drop a like on the video. Comment down below what you guys want to see next and subscribe so you don't miss a thing. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.